When the World War II ended, the United States Army had surplus metallic sodium left over from the catastrophic war, which was used in the manufacture of incendiary bombs. The initial plan was to sell off the excess quantity, and when the material was advertised for sale, it shows the interest of quite a few companies. But when the metal drum where the sodium was stored was inspected, it was found that the containers had deteriorated to such an extent that hand and shipping were exceedingly dangerous. Sodium reacts sadistically with water producing a lot of heat and hydrogen gas which regularly ignites from the generated heat causing explosions. Therefore, to avoid an incident, railroad companies negate to handle the material in the substandard containers, thereby leaving the army with the mystifying problem how to dispose of more than 9,000 tons of extremely reactive sodium. After extended thinking by the war a certain administration, it was decided to dump the sodium into a lake in Washington. To diminish the environmental impact of dumping surplus sodium in water, the army chooses Lake Lenore in Grant County because of its alkaline water and lack of fish. In 1947, a newsreel was published that describes that one can see the army rolling down barrel after barrel of metallic sodium from a cliff onto the frozen lake. Once in the water, the drums were shot by machine guns to cause punctures and let the sodium come in to contact with the water. When the sodium reacted with water, as expected, nearly 162,000 cubic feet of hydrogen gas was produced, which caught fire, producing a series of prolific gate explosions. In 1958, a paper published the article about throwing sodium into Lake Lenore. The water of the lake are already rich in sodium salts of sulfate carbonate bicarbonate and chloride. The lake is highly alkaline with an average pH of 9.9. Therefore, the dumping of over 9000 kg sodium would have produced less than a rounding error of pH change. These days, Lake Lenore is no longer devoid of fish. From the early 1980s onwards, the state had been filling Lake Lenore with Lahontan cutthroat trout. While thriving in alkaline water, the Lahontan is currently the best fish in the water of Lake Lenore and also in some other lakes which alkaline throughout North America. It was manufactured by companies such as Allin and DuPont. It is still being made nowadays. Now it often travels by tank cars rails and road and 55 gallon of drums. About 25 years ago, a rail tanker packed full of it ended up in the Delaware River. Although the chemical was so well sealed that nothing happened and it was gotten rid of effectively. Even tiny bits of it caused impressive explosions. If you like this video, please comment, share and subscribe. Thank you very much.